We are at the Hickory Motor Speedway for the fourth race of season three of the SCRL Bush Gun National Series. The number five of Chaka Watlon will lead us to the green flag. Start beside her is the double zero of Jeremy Eichel. Rusty starting lineup for today's race. All 25 drivers are here, the full-time drivers. Entering this race, Al Legacy, who is starting third, has a 12-point lead over White Lion, who is starting first. Fourth race of the season at Daytona, Kristen Russell won that race. Kristen Russell is starting sixth at Richmond. Finn Smith won that event. Finn Smith is starting 21st. And in the last round, Jeremy Eichel won that race. Eichel is starting second. Of course, the Hickory Motor Speedway, the 0.36-mile oval. In Season 1, Evan Rudd won this event. And in Season 2, the defending race winner, Riley Spurlytube, won. Here in Season 2, Spurlytube is starting in the 13th spot. So he'll be trying to win back-to-back -back Hickory races. A very beautiful day here in Hickory, North Carolina. 20 laps is the distance for today's race. No green-white checkers here in 1984. So that is pretty much it. White line with her first pole here in 1984. And now for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems, which is always a good thing. Check a white line on her first pole of the season. We're looking to translate that into another win here in the Bush Series. And we are underway here at Hickory. Turn number one, side by side for the race lead between White Line and Eichel. And to turn number three, Eichel off a good run on the outside line. Can he clear White Lion as we head off towards turn number four in the front stretch? And it looks like Eichel will lead that first lap. The White Lion will clear on the outside, I mean, excuse me, inside. And White Lion to the race lead. Here comes Al Legacy. Can he get around Eichel? Being pushed by the seven with a new paint scheme, Blaze Ebertar. It looks like Blaze will push Al Legacy into second place. And you see our season one champion, Jack Legacy. Al's brother is stuck on the high side as he's being passed by the defending race winner, Riley Spurlytube. We got 16 laps to go next time by. You see the 23, Sam Oskin tried to cut down in front of the 14. Now, Kristen Russell, our Daytona race winner, but he's not able to. Here comes Chase Miller in the 15 car. He's going past Blaze. That is for third. And you see Al Legacy is trying to close in on white line as we've already got a one second lead between first and second. And then almost a full second behind to third. As you see, Sam Oskin cut down in front of the 24 of Michael Brown. Battle for fourth. Here comes Kristen Russell being pushed by Sam Oskin, trying to go around Blaze Ebertar in the seventh. And looks like he will complete the pass. So move Kristen Russell, our Daytona winner, up to fourth. Battle for second place. Here comes Chase Miller trying to get around Al Legacy. Of course, it's been almost a full year since Al Legacy has won here in the Bush Series. He last won at South Boston. Oh, excuse me, it's been over a year. Al did not win in Season 2. As White Line has pulled away to a 1.7 second lead. This is usually what happens here at Hickory. The driver just in front just pulls away from everybody else. 
battle for last place is currently being held by the 42 car of Jake Thomas as we will have 11 laps to go. And you see Jack Lackesy stuck on the outside line. Nowhere to go. You see Riley Spurley tube, our defending race winner. He climbed all the way up inside the top 10, but he is now stuck on the outside line. Here comes the 88 of Rowan Marmot. Rowan scored two wins in the CART series. Looking to translate that here in the Bush series. Oh, we got a caution. I just noticed that. Looks like the 04 it was. No, excuse me, the 07 of Jeff White. And White Line will take the caution flag. We'll take a look and see what happened to the 07 car of Jeff White to bring out our first caution of the day. Here's the cause of caution. Jeff White in the 07 running in the 19th spot. He enters turn number one, and looks like he starts to lose power. It looks like tire damage is what's being shown. Well, the 07 also showing tire damage for the 15 car, Chase Miller, but he's not on pit road. And Chase Miller is going to slow up. Excuse me, Jeff White is going to slow up in turn two. He's going to slow Chris Kyle, the 42 of Jake Thomas. But luckily, no one got any damage. And Jeff White is going to stall in turn two and the start of the back stretch, and that is the cause of the caution here at Hickory. Well, this will be a quick key caution, but we will still take you to our first commercial break of today's event. We're really cooking at Brownies. We're really cooking for you. In a world of computers, isn't it nice to know that somewhere out there, there's a place of friendliness and warmth, succulent food, and modest prices. Or the owner and his family are your neighbors, and they offer you the best chicken imaginable at a price that will bring a smile to your lips. At Brownies, we're cooking to please. And what's even more pleasing is this week's special. What's America's party time finger food? Gino's Pizza Rolls. What's America's snack time finger food? Gino's Pizza Rolls. Try Pizza Rolls party snacks in eight great tasting flavors. Everything you'll love to taste on a pizza roll in a crispy crust. Just eat me. What's America's Christmas time finger food? Gino's Pizza Rolls. Pizza Rolls party snacks by Gino's. America's anytime finger food in eight great flavors. Hand is helping chicken. Introducing new chicken helper in four delicious varieties like mushroom chicken and rice. You get wild and long grain rice in a mushroom sauce and a golden glaze for your chicken. Just place your fresh chicken in our savory rice and mushroom mix and bake. In one pan here, one hour's time, a real chicken dinner bakes up prime. Mmm. The helping hand has chicken helper. E -I -E -I. Uh oh. And we are back. Fox. Actually, there'll be four laps to go. No one is out of the race. We still have all 25 cars still in this race. Check a white line is a race leader. Second is Chase Miller. Third is Al Legacy. Fourth is Sam Oskin. Fifth is Michael Brown. Sixth is Kristen Russell. Seventh is Matt McIntyre. Eighth is Ty Dent. Ninth is Blaze Zebertar. And tenth is Rowan Marmot. If we get another caution, this race will be over. White line looking to get the best restart of her career. There's the green flag. Slow restart. And she was ready. Looks like Chase Miller was not in the 15 car. And that'll cost the rest of the field. But this should get too big of a lead because here comes Chase Miller. Three laps to go. Chase Miller has never won a race here at the SCRL. He goes wide in turn one, trying to get that run down the back stretch. You got the greatest driver in SCR history with the most wins and most championships. Trying to hold off a rookie, Chase Miller. He's got two laps to go. You see Kristen Russell moving up a spot past the 24 car. One line goes a little bit wide in turn number two, down to back stretch. Lap and a half to go. Battle for third. Here comes Sam Oskin around Al Legacy. White flag one lap to go for Jack White Lion. She started on the pole. She lost the lead early to Jeremy Eichel. She took it back for the next lap and has led every single lap since. Chase Miller closes in to turn number three, but it's not going to be enough off the final turn. Check a white line out of the Finden Series champion. Wins here at Hickory. And she 
does it again. Here you race results. Jekyll Whiteline holds on for her for her league leading 36 career win, and it is her fourth Bush Series win, tying her with Eli Bright and Jack Legacy for second most time here in the Bush Series. Second was Chase Miller, third Sam Oskin, fourth Al Legacy, fifth Matt McIntyre, sixth Kristen Russell, seventh Rowan Marmot, eighth Michael Brown, ninth Ben Smith, and tenth was Ty Dent. Fresh race results, we had 24 drivers finish race on the lead lap. Jeff White was the only driver not on the lead lap. He was two laps down due to stalling and bringing out the lone caution of the race. Well, that is it for Hickory here in the Bush Series. We'll take you to Victory Lane for the fourth time in her career here in the Bush Series, 36 overall in this league with the number five of Cheka White Lion. Here are the point standings at the fourth race of the season at Hickory. With the win, Chaka White Lion is our brand new points leader. She has an eight point lead over Al Legacy. Third is Chase Miller, 12 points behind. Fourth is Michael Brown, 75 points behind. And fifth is Finn Smith, 92 points behind. As you can see, the rest of the point standings on the screen. We'll next see you for round number five at the Martinsville Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.